What's up guys, back again with another video in the Java series. This episode, I'm going to teach you how to make bounded type parameters. I can get it back real quick Give you an experience Like you never had before Dream catch on your thigh, yeah. Okay guys, so now that we actually know how to use, um, you know, basic generic class parameters and all that fun stuff, Let's actually move on to bounded type parameters, which is basically a way for you to limit um, which classes you can use as a uh, as a parameter type. Okay, so basically, let's say, um, well, let me show you exactly. Okay, so let's make a class that is able to find the average of a set of numbers. Okay, so let's just go and make these sets of numbers or arrays of numbers. You could say, um, yeah, we're just going to we're going to use a simple array here. So we do something like integer. Um, integer numbers or just nums is equal to and then we'll say something like one three six or five and then six okay and then um basically we want to find the average of this uh array of numbers right so let's also make one for double because since we're using a generic class we should be able to uh give it multiple you know data types right so that's the plan at least so we should be able to do that and not doubles i mean double is equal to 1.4, blah, 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 Okay, cool. So if things work correctly, we should be able to find the average of these numbers here. Okay, cool. So let's go ahead and make the class for these, um, you know, numbers here. And so we'll call the class life. It doesn't matter what the name is, so we'll just call it life. And then um, <clears throat> let's give it a, uh, you know, parameterized type. So we'll just say A, just to keep it simple. And A is going to represent the data type for our array, of course, because we're going to store the array inside of the class or the object once we make it so that we can run a uh, find average method. So basically what we're going to do here is do something like this. So A <clears throat> as a parameter and then we'll say, we'll call it number array because there's not going to be any like it's not going to be integer array, not going to be double array. It's going to be any set of numbers array. OK, so hopefully you understand. So, yeah, basically the point is. Um, well, let me show you. So let's make a constructor here. So we'll call it public and then life, of course, because we're making a constructor. And then we're going to be able to pass in as a parameter whenever we make the object, the array that we want to pass in. So number array. So then we could do something like uh, this dot number array is equal to number array. OK, so basically what this will do is whenever we make an object of life, we're going to be able to pass in one of these number arrays that we have here. And then it'll set it to this one in here. And then now we can make an average um, finding method. So we'll call it double average. OK, and it's double average because we're going to be returning a double number. So the reason we're going to return a double data type is because whenever you're dealing with averages, you're usually going to get a decimal number. Like, for example, this might return a decimal number if we have a decimal in there or something like that. You know, you never know, basically. So it's just smart to use a double number when you're doing with uh, working with averages. OK, so anyway. So we're going to return a double. So we're going to do, um, well, we need an initial value. So we'll do su uh, double sum is equal to zero. And the reason we have a dumb, uh, I mean, a sum value is because the way you find average, of course, you should know this, <laughs> is by adding up all the numbers and then dividing them by how many numbers there are, OK? So what we need to do is find the sum of all the numbers in the array that we're passing to our object, right? So we can do that with a simple for loop. Um, so we'll do something like int i is equal to zero. Um, as long as i is less than the number, the length or the amount of numbers in the number array, right? Okay, and then we're going to i plus plus. So that's going to iterate through every number in the array, basically. Um, okay, and so what we're going to do is add it to that. So sum is equal to sum is equal to sum uh, plus number array, and then in the whatever one we're on. So that's the index, and then we want to do double value. Okay. So you might be wondering why I call double value. Well, let's say that we pass in something like um, the integer here, right? We can't exactly add an integer to a double. I mean, we can. It should work. But usually you want to um, actually have it as a uh, integer. And also think about it this way. Um, double, I mean. But think about it this way. Um, we're passing in integer objects, right? We're not passing in primitives, okay? So what we have to do is pass the... Um, the uh, object back to its primitive type so double value should return the primitive type so we're adding the primitive type to this primitive type on the left side right so it's very simple right 
But anyway, as you can see, we have an error here, and the reason the error here is because is here because um, basically, let's say we pass in a string uh, a string array, right? We can't find the double value of a string array. That doesn't even make sense. How can you find the number of a string, right? Well, there's ways, but of course, yeah. But anyway, <laughs> the point is you can't do that. It doesn't make sense. And so the double value method here that we're trying to use is only available for the class number in its subclasses, okay? And the subclasses of number happen to be integer, double, float, all kinds of stuff like that, okay? But obviously it's not going to be string because string is not a number. So the point is we want to make it so that our generic class can only accept uh, data type parameters that are of the type number or its subclasses. And we can do that by extending number, okay? So that's how we do that, okay? It's very cool, very simple, and there you go. But as you can see, we can now use this method here. So that's because Java knows that we're using only numbers, and it's like, okay, you're cool now, so we can use it. So now that we have that working, let's go ahead and return the sum of all the numbers divided by how many numbers there are, because that's, of course, how you find the average. So that should work. So let's go ahead and test our program now. Let's test it out. So we'll make a, we have to make a new um, object of the type life, of course, or the class life, I mean. So we'll give it, um, we're going to pass in this one first, so we'll give it a type of integer, right? And so we'll name it life1 is equal to new life, and we'll pass it in as an integer again. But also it wants a parameter because we have a constructor here that only wants a, uh, a, you know, it wants a parameter. So basically we have to pass in the array. So we'll pass in nums, and there we go. And that's it. I mean, now that we uh, have that set as, you know, up here, now that uh, we've passed in the array thing, we can actually call in average here, okay? So we'll pass that in, uh, or call it now, I mean. So life1.average, okay? So that's where we're gonna turn the double, and then we're gonna print it out, obviously, because we're doing uh, system.out.println, okay? So yeah, so we get 3.75, okay? So let me pull out my calculator just to test that I did that, or the program works correctly, it found the average precisely correct. I don't think that makes sense. Um, one, three, five, six, okay? So we'll do that, one plus three plus five plus six, and then we'll divide that by four, and we get three point. Okay, cool. It works. Awesome. So now we know our program works correctly. So let's go ahead and test it out <clears throat> with the doubles um, data type. Okay. So I'll make a new life object here. So we'll do integer or no double. I mean, and life two. That's what we're going to call it, of course. So life double, and we're going to pass in the double array. Okie dokie. So then we're going to print out the value of life two dot average because we want to find the average of that array that we just passed in two seconds ago. And let's go and start this. And we get 3554.775, okay? And I'm just going to trust that that is the correct average. It should be, but anyway. Um, now that we have, you know, completed this program, let me show you one more thing. Now that we're using numbers, we know how to use numbers. Basically, what would happen if we pass in a string array, right? Like I said before, it shouldn't work because we're only extending it to the number class and its subclasses. That's exactly what that's doing up here, right? So let's try, let's try doing that, see what happens, right? So let's just declare a string array up here with the other ones. We'll say strings is equal to, you know, oops, man, I cannot type. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, cool. So let's go ahead and declare an object for that one. So it's life string, life three. And as you can see, there's already an error popping up. So let's pass in the strings array. Boom. Okay. But of course we have errors because um, it says type parameter java.lang.string is not within its bound. Okay. It should extend java.lang.number. Okay. So that basically means that it's not within the bounds of number or its subclasses. Okay. And of course, um, this is called an upper bound, by the way, if you don't know, whenever you extend it to some class. Okay. That's called an upper bound. Okay. You're bounding the parameter, right? You're limiting it, right? That makes sense, right? So that's pretty cool, guys. I hope you enjoyed that simple explanation. I think I did good enough this time, hopefully. So <laughs> if you liked the video, if you found it you know, good, leave a like. If you have any questions or suggestions or anything at all, just leave a comment and I'll help you. Also, join the Discord. It's in the description. There's a link there. Join it, whatever you want to do. Hang out with this. Talk trash, whatever. Um, also, look in the description for this link here. It's going to be the, all of the code today from today's episode. And uh, make sure you bookmark it. Use it as a reference. Whatever you want to do because sometimes you forget code. Sometimes I forget code. It happens, you know. So anyway, I hope this video was good enough for you. Uh, if you liked the video, leave a like. If you want to see more, subscribe. And peace.